Yes, I spent 30 years with the Alton Police Department, retired from that. Seeing that uh, some of the residents, are, some of the signatures didn't match the residences that they said that they lived at as registered voters, and some of the signatures were in question also. I, you know, we're going through the process of being challenged, and uh, I, I think we have sufficient signatures that will hold up under scrutiny, and we're going to be going through the process to, to prove that. And uh, so I'm optimistic at this point. You're looking at a very minuscule amount, and later on, that could pretty much bankrupt our uh, law enforcement system, because uh, the, the general fund, only part of that money goes to the general fund, and the other part goes to operating those law enforcement and emergency services entities, and that tax cut, even though it's a very small part, would absolutely affect them grotesquely. To me, I. I'm a little bit confused about it. Are they, are they saying that the first place they're going to cut when they have less money is, is law enforcement? Is that the thing that, why would they cut there first? I'm not quite certain. The argument just seems rather shallow at this point to me.